This is one of the most anticipated days in the Olympics. When one woman stands above everyone else, enter Gabby Douglas, enter Allie Raisman. What they are about to try and do is follow in the steps only three American women have ever known. And as the draw would have it, they will start where they should be fairly comfortable on the vault. One vault. Everything you see tonight counts. She's been great on this throughout the Olympics, but has struggled in the past. It's a good start. It wasn't perfect. She'll take that, though. What she does so well is she's very clean in the air, but there was an error on the landing. She takes a hop, and remember, if you're gonna hop, you wanna go straight forward because there's a zone where they're going to land and you wanna be exactly straight to the horse. You don't wanna have any lateral movement. Beautiful up until this point, Tim, gorgeous. And you see she lands both feet to the side of that middle line and then that left foot is definitely on the boundary. But these are just small deductions Sometimes she twists a little bit early, and when she does that, she catapults her body a little bit to the side. You see her trying like a wide receiver to, instead of get those toes in, keep them in. Well, she did better than qualifying. 15.966, and that little green arrow tells you that's in a good zone. And she can be great here. She just has to do her thing. She just has to remember to stay focused. It's been one of the areas that she has had difficulty with staying focused and, and staying in the zone and what she needs to do right here. Look for the handstands. Super high. <laughs> now this release combination is even more difficult. She'll combine two together. Right to the low. Beautiful. Gotta put a double layout to her feet. She's keeping it interesting. Thank you. Can you do it when you have to do it? As she did. She did. Hop on the landing. Not going to get the score that we saw from either Victoria Komova or Elea Mustafina, but this is beautiful right here. Watch the height that she gets. She flies in the air on this. Beautiful skill. And then it's so hard to fly this hard, high, and then make the transition into another release. Watch, she'll do a back flip from the high bar down to the low bar. In slow-mo, it makes it look kind of easy, doesn't it, Al? You could just no, rip really. one of those off. Uh, well, hopefully the judges took notice of the execution and just how high she was on those two release skills because that's very, very difficult. And right here with just her dismount, beautiful stretched laid out position, double layout, but that hop, that's a small deduction. She's gonna be right in there though. I, I would say that she will be trailing uh, Komova at this point, not Mustafa, now she certainly shouldn't be. But there's a lot more gymnastics still to come. Gabby Douglas, 15.733. This is going to be a matter of tenths. And as Gabby Douglas has stayed in front of the Russians, she is heading to balance beam like everyone else in this lead group. And the balance beam can really be a place where things get decided. Here goes Gabby Douglas with her teammate Ali Raisman coming up. Is she capable? Absolutely. The only critical thing is stay in control, stay inside yourself, don't feel any external stimuli, just do what you can do, and she's in fantastic shape. So this we're gonna know, know right here. No, it's we not both this know, skill. don't we, Tim? Right this here, is... this element, that was great for her. And she follows up with another super hard skill. It's a full twist.
Gabby has told us, I can't forget the simple stuff. I've got to keep my mind focused. She's through most of her challenging things, but still got to keep that focus till the end. So there's just one piece of gymnastics left. It's her dismount. It will take the entire length of the balance beam. It starts right here. This is it. And we have got a real battle. That battle, of course, is Gabby Douglas and Victoria Komova, but that was spectacular under the absolute glare of Olympic pressure. She needs a 15.174 to stay in the lead. Not, no problem whatsoever. This was the skill that has given Gabby such grief over the last few months, but not here. I tell you, her mental preparation here in London has been fantastic. She has found a way to defeat this balance beam. She has owned it. You know, Tim, it's almost as if on the uneven bars, she absorbed Russia's biggest punch. Yeah, exactly. And she maybe got pushed back a little bit. She certainly didn't go down, and she came back with her own left jab. Well, here we go. Okay. What's the number? What am I on first? That's going to be enough. If it's not, they're wrong. And it's a 15.5. Gabby Douglas is going to stay in front, and it's going to come down to the floor exercise. Not just stay in front, she just distanced herself even further. That's a huge score. They say sometime a crowded room can be the most lonely place in the world. said it might be lonely at the top. Exactly, and you know, what a performance, and her coach Lang Chiao was in this exact same position four years ago, had to sell, settle for silver with Sean Johnson, but I don't know, it's looking pretty golden for this girl right here. That's gonna be very, very hard to beat, and the best part about that performance was that smile. Haven't seen that in a while from Gabby, she felt it. Thank you. 
Here's her mom. So her sister Ariel is right there too. She's the one that convinced Gabby, don't quit. But you know, it's like a game of hundreds and thousands of a point. And on her second pass, she was oh so close to stepping out of bounds. And if you do that, we're not talking hundreds or thousands. It's a full tenth of a point or three tenths if both legs go out. But look wow. at that right there. So close. We scanned the arena. No white flag was raised. So no deduction. Gabby Douglas gets a 15.033. That's easily going to keep her in the lead. And it's really putting the squeeze on Komova. Once again, all eyes, everyone in the arena, mine included, staring up. And it's a Gabby Gold! Gabby told us many times she dreamed of this moment all her life. Is it everything you thought it would be? It is everything I thought it'd be. Being the Olympic champion is definitely an amazing feeling, and I give all the glory to God, and it's kind of a win-win situation. The glory goes up to him, and the blessings fall down on me. And in that final rotation, this was an epic battle. Did you think that that was a gold medal performance on the floor from you? Yes, I just need to do a perfect and clean routine, and I did, and I knew at that moment that I had I had this. And what about, you had to watch, just like everyone else did, it came right down to Komova, the very, very last routine. You had to watch with everybody else to see what her score was, to see if you won gold. Describe those moments if you can. It was definitely nerve-wracking. I mean, oh, am I gonna be first, am I gonna be second? It, what, what is going on? And um, it was just nerve-wracking. This has been a road to two Olympic golds right now, maybe more to come. A lot of sacrifices along the way for you and your family and your extended family. What does this mean to all of you? It means so much, all the hard work and dedication and effort put in the gym and hard days. And hard days are the best because that's what champions are made. So if you push through the hard days and you can get through anything. Congratulations. Thank you.